In today's episode, you get to see a beautiful 1968 Buick Skylark. Hello everybody, welcome to Classic Car Chit Chat. My name is Kevin. If this is the first time you're coming to my channel, then welcome. As always, I truly appreciate you being here. If you've been to my channel before, then certainly welcome back. Thank you always for the comments that you leave, for the thumbs up, for you subscribing, as well as hitting that notification bell so you know when the next episode is available. In today's episode, you get to meet a gentleman by the name of Wes. Wes has a absolutely gorgeous 1968 Buick Skylark convertible. It's the custom edition, even has air conditioning. It's got a lot of little details. It's got chrome bits and pieces everywhere. And it's got something that I absolutely love. And I think they should bring it as a law that all cars should have fender skirts. And this girl has one. So it's about 12 years that he's had the car. He adores it and you'll understand why. So hop in, let's go for a drive and let's check out this beautiful 1968 Buick Skylark convertible. Oh, and here's Wes now. Wes, this car is gorgeous. Tell me what it is first. It's a 68 Skylark convertible, custom. Wow. Comes with air conditioning. Really? Is this the original color? Yep. Kind of similar to mine, you're right. <laughs> Although it's got a deeper red to it. Yeah, well, I had it uh, restored, brought the color up. Okay. From Restore FX, if you want to know. But uh, When you say restored, like, from the ground up? like No, anything? no, the paint was Just restored. Paint. Okay. okay. It was like a perma shine type of deal. That's right. You don't have to wax it or whatever for a while. I love it. Your rims look almost like mine. Close. Very similar style. Now, did the Americans copy the British on that or is it the other way around? <laughs> haven't got a clue. <laughs> Look at the detail. I love the little chrome trim. The, the way this line just goes now. Oh, that makes the car with the little fender skirts. Oh, absolutely. And those are clipped on, correct? The fender skirts? Yeah. Beautiful. So how long have you had the car? Uh, I bought it in April 2009. Okay. So coming up to, well, it's 12 and a half years. Wonderful. And why this car? Why the Buick? Well... I was doing the car shows for years with my buddy Rick. Okay. And I was saving for a new car or an old car. Old car, yeah. But I was looking for a 69 Cutlass. Okay. Because I had my first car, right? Right. But I come across this in Ancaster and uh, it kind of just popped. So and you I, fell in love. Yeah. Well, it was right after my wife passed away, too. Okay. So I wanted something that I could just go and drive, go back in the future. Right. For the past, I should say. Yes. And she's absolutely beautiful. She's got a couple of flaws, but it's still a driver. I Looks can't get over the size of the car, though. This was, this was just a normal family car back in the back day. Back in the day, yeah. This is a normal size. <laughs> what is the engine size in this? It's a 350 with 350, a four-barrel. Flat, flat or a V8? It's a V8. V8, okay. And the pipes as well? The original would have had two exhaust uh, oh, pipes coming it's out? It's got dual exhaust, yeah. Wow. I just added the tips on them to make it look a little bit sportier. Absolutely. Never enough chrome on a car, I mm -hmm. think. So can we take a look at the engine? Yep. Might be a little dusty, That's but... That's okay. You know what, it's Wes? I have a thing about fender skirts. 
they're just the most attractive thing to me. Like they're well, absolutely that's what sets gorgeous. It off. Oh, totally. I've I've totally. seen I've seen her without the fender skirts, and it's got about a 300-pound hood. Oh God, yes. I feel here. Good Lord. Well, that's a bit of a workout just trying to get that up. Now, did all the original cars uh, paint the engines? Yeah. As far really, as I when know. they came out of the factories. Unbelievable. I added uh, an overflow bottle okay. because they don't come with them. Right. So that just helps any extra fluids. Dripping. Beautiful. Is this the horn? Oh, that's a specialty horn. Can we hear it? Uh, I don't think it's working at the moment. Okay, no worries. <laughs> it was working because right? I could play all kinds of tunes. So oh, every, okay. Every time yes. I did the parades, yeah. I... I kind of think of Duke, Dukes of Hazard or something like that. So. No, no, it's different. It's different almost tone. like an ice cream truck. So oh, really? <laughs> that's one of them, plus it whistles and... Oh, good for you. Beautiful. It's a good novelty. <laughs> oh, for sure. It gets attention, as though the car doesn't, but uh, yeah. no, wow, it's beautiful. Now, the interior west as well, the original would it's have It's original, had... except for the radio. And this is the, the way the seats were, like the same color, everything? Yeah, oh, no, it's original seats. Be really? Yeah. Never been refinished, nothing? No, like there's a little tear here, there's a little bit wore off on here. Yeah, but that's so minor, considering it's a convertible. But it's all... And the steering wheel? Uh, I think that's been changed. That's aftermarket, right? I have a, the original at home. I like that one better. I do too, yes. Gives it a bit more character. Uh, nice little skull and crossbones there. Oh yeah, I have lots of those. My now the levers and that for the air conditioning and all those things, that's it, again stock? This, this is all stock right here. Okay. This doesn't, but that's just for to hold your phone. Now, you've got a cassette player in there. Yeah. The original would have had the 8-track? Uh, no, just a regular radio. Really? But it didn't come with it, so... Yes. It had a cheaper uh, radio in it. It's You know what's interesting? It's these little elements like that. Oh, yeah, that just pops it. It does, absolutely. They didn't have to do that, but they did, no. and I'm so glad they did. How much space is in the trunk? It's full. Okay. I even got a uh, A&W tray to put on the window. Do you really? I've never seen one. You're going to have to show me that. That brings back m memories, hey? There, I'll put it on shortly. This is how it came? This is the actual a and oh. type trays? Yeah. Even that was shiny and chrome. <laughs> My ice cream's falling apart though. Oh, is it melted though? <laughs> so it literally clips on? Oh my God. That's what you used to get when you had Wes, that is just magnificent. Got an A&W cup. <laughs> now, was it only A&W that had this kind of service back no, in the No, this, uh, well, that's what it's famous for, the A&W, with them coming up with the roller skates yes, on and all yes, that. Yes, yes. Out of every movie out of the 50s yeah, almost, let right? Let me take this. That's good enough to eat there. There we go. Turn it that way. There. Wonderful. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic. Priceless. Yeah. You don't see that every day. Wow. Oh, it's like going to the drive-in. You clip yeah. on your speaker, got your food coming to you. The good <laughs> old days. Awesome. Yeah. Fantastic. I love it. <laughs> and you've got ashtrays I see in there galore. Yep. Oh my God, they're everywhere. Fantastic. Can we go for a little ride? Yep. All right, let's do that.
If you don't mind speeding. <laughs> okay, I'm excited now. Taut. Yes, the, the joys of finding seats though, eh? You wouldn't have it any other way. I use my GPS oh, yeah. as my speedometer <laughs> in kilometers. Right on. That's clever. Yes. And then this way. It's yes, you're the limit. Because you, what, you're kind of heavy, heavy footed? Is that what oh, you're trying to say? Not me. Not you. But an innocent as they come, right? Yeah. So we'll turn right here. Okay. Oh, that is so smooth, Wes. Oh, yeah. That's another thing I like about it. That is so smooth. I didn't expect it to be this smooth. I thought be, being a little bit more sportier and we'll turn left at these lights. Oh, it's fantastic. Whew. You can get used to this bad boy. Oh, just a little, eh? You must turn a lot of heads. Some days. Bit of a babe magnet, would you say, Wes? Oh, well, as my father-in-law used to sit on that side, he'd uh -huh. say, go to the closer to the sidewalks and I'll pull in the doors. <laughs> and he was 93. <laughs> really? <laughs> so that is the secret to a long and happy life, isn't it? Just to have fun. Absolutely. Enjoy every moment. You know, and there's something always magical about bench seats as well. I just love them. Especially in the driving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Oh, she's got some power. And just premium unleaded gas in this thing? Yeah, that's all I use. She is so quiet though. Yeah. My truck's a little noisier. Like you're floating. Mm-hmm. Like you go over these bumps. Here, okay. Which, which bump? <laughs> wow. Absolutely fantastic. You go race that guy? You could probably beat him, couldn't you? Somebody just waved. <laughs> it does attract a lot of attention. I'll give oh, you yeah. that for sure. And where do you go with this car? Do you go to many shows and things? Oh yeah, I've been to London and Oshawa and up north a bit. So are you still working west or no? No, no, anymore? I retired nine years ago. What did you do in before? I was a printer. Oh. Yeah, after the wife died I just said that. That's it. Yes. I'm going to enjoy it. Yeah. So I retired early. Definitely make the most of every minute, right? I was 57, so. Okay. Plus I had three dogs at home. Ah, that's a family right there. I notice you have a side mirror on the left side, on the driver's yeah. side. Nothing on. That's an option on back in the day. Really? You have to pay extra for that? Okay. Now it's interesting, your windshield is much, much higher, so you can actually see the traffic lights. Yeah. Or you're sitting lower in the seat. Combination maybe, yes. That's why you got comfort. Ah, true. How's the bumps? Here you go. Like, it's unbelievably smooth. You're still gliding. <laughs> it's nothing to it. Yeah. Oh, skunk's up here. Oh, oh, somebody yeah. already moved it. There we go. You can turn left in one of these streets. There you go. Going down by the arena? Yes. Well, it runs pretty smooth. Absolutely. Have you done a lot of work to it or? Uh, just... Not too much. A few things. Brake zoner, water pump. Mm -hmm. And how many kilometers does this have? Or well, miles? Now? Oh, this has. Uh, it says 32,736 miles, but 
who knows how many times it's turned around. Yeah. Because yeah. These cars, they turn after they hit 100,000, they go back to zero. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> should have went down and drove by them. We should. Want you to? can, yes. Why don't we do that? Just swing by. Oh, that's a good image right there. Oh, I can't get over how quiet and smooth she is, mm -hmm. Wes. Now, it's a shame your horn doesn't work, because you would have given them something oh, to yeah. look at. Hello. Hi. I drove by so you can have a better look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's priceless. I, I'm just actually amazed as to the smoothness of the ride. It's about uh, 20 miles to the gallon on ah, the highway. Okay, yes. There's some good and bad with all of these cars, right? So yeah, but that's pretty good gas mileage, though, yeah, really, because you do in kilometers. Each gallon's 4.5. Okay. And this is power steering and power brakes? Yep. And that again is all stock? Yep, with air. With air. So was air kind of a rare option for many convertibles back in the day? Yeah, but down in the States, I guess not, like yeah. Kentucky. Like this thing says Kentucky, where it had an oil change back in 06. Oh, wow. I think this came up in... Uh, this come up in uh, 07. Okay. And the gentleman I bought it off, I bought it like he had it a year. Right. He wanted a Mustang, I think. Yes. <laughs> but you know, I noticed that everybody I talk to that has a classic car, it's like they've had it for a number of years, they've enjoyed it, they're looking to sell it because they want to get another one that they've always wanted, mm -hmm. right? So it's always one of those little stories, which is fantastic. And mine is if somebody gives you a good price, what would you buy if you if you got this? Uh, got rid of this? Uh, not sure. Is there a car that you've always thought about? Like I don't know, fifty six. Oh no, I like Thunderbird. The, or I like the sixty nine old Scotless. Ah, yes. Which is similar to this one. Okay. In one aspect, but I that was my first car. Back in the day. Yep. And did you always grow up in in around Brampton? Yeah. Well, I come from the Ottawa Valley. Oh yeah. I moved to Brampton in, when I was nine. Ah, okay. Or let me rephrase that, I got transported. <laughs> you didn't have a say in the matter, did you? No, transplanted. Yes. So uh, I'm the only one in my family that's actually stayed in Brampton. Oh, okay. And that, so I raised my family and one's still in Brampton and that's it. Like I've said this 50 <coughs> times now, I just cannot get over how smooth the ride is. And there's this glorious rumble to the engine. <laughs> it's just fantastic. That's that V8. Yeah. It's just a purr. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. The seatbelt actually came with the car, Russ? Yeah. Really? I didn't think there were seatbelts in the back seat because sometimes they were optional. Right? Ah, okay. But uh, when I lifted the seat up, was, they were there. Wow. <laughs> Did you have to pay extra for seatbelts back in the day, I wonder? I. Just when they were mandatory, then they wanted them, right? All righty. I'm going to get you to stand on this side so I can get a full... Oh, I better put my coffee down. <laughs> no Tim commercial. No advertising.
there's this look to this car, isn't there? It's just like, ah, power. Oh, the other thing is the A4C badge on the front grill, that's an add-on. That's the Antique Classic Cars of Canada badge. Really? That's just another group that I belong to. Very nice, very nice. Goes with my hat. <laughs> <laughs> and the driver. Yeah, antique. <laughs> antique and a legend. Beautiful.